Right now, I'm going to show you how to cut out hair using some new features inside of Photoshop 2021. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. Cutting out hair, that's one of the things that we love to hate or maybe we hate to love it. Who knows? But there's some new features inside of Photoshop 2021 that help us cut out hair. Let's examine them right now. Okay, so here's a photograph that I shot of Callan in the studio. And yes, I shot her against a plain gray background because I knew I was going to want to cut her out later. If you know you're going to want to cut the person out, don't shoot them against a complicated background. So there's some new enhancements using the AI inside of Photoshop. So first of all, we're going to look at some examples without doing any manual work. We're just going to let the AI do its work and then we'll jump in and we'll help it and see what kind of a cutout we can get. All right, let's go down here and we are going to choose the quick selection or the object selection tool. Either one of these will work. And that gives us the option up the top toolbar to choose select subject. Click select subject and Photoshop will make a selection around your subject. Choose Select a Mask. Now we're going to go into the Select a Mask workflow and you can view it against different colors. Right now we're looking at it against white. We can look at it against black if we want. Uh, you might see yours when it first starts. It'll probably be onion skin and it'll look like this. Slide the transparency slider all the way up. You can see the background and then cycle through these different options to see what it's going to look like. Notice this keyboard shortcuts there. So if I hit the T key, it's going to show white. If I hit the O key, it's going to show the overlay. And if you can't remember what the one is for black, just look at it. It's the A key. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we can see that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now there's two options. We have color aware and object aware. Right now I'm changing to object aware, aware. click OK. And it's going to resample. Let's click the T key and look at it against white. That's looking pretty good. And that's without doing anything yet. Now, normally you will grab this refine brush and you would drag it around the edge of the hair. We don't have to do that because we can choose the refine hair. So this is the second new feature. The first new feature is using the AI for object aware versus the old color aware. And the second new feature is being able to click refine hair and look what it does. It does a pretty good job of getting those edges. Look at the hair there. That's pretty good. Let's hit the A. Let's look at it on black. And that's without doing anything. And then what we would do is we would go down and choose output to a new layer with a layer mask. And then click OK. Let's put a background behind it and see what it looks like. And pull it down underneath. And we can see that's a pretty good job without doing any work. All right, so let's have a look at something else. We've got some fur here, and this is a much more complicated background here. Uh, this was just shot at Comic-Con. This is someone's costume, which I think is amazing. So hair and fur are going to kind of work hand in hand. So let's go and we're going to choose the quick selection tool. And then we're going to go and choose select subject once again. So there's our edges. And then we're going to go into select a mask. And if you look here, those edges are not very good. Right now we're in our object aware. This is sticky. We could go back to color aware and see how it does. Not really much of a difference. Let's go back to our object aware. Okay, so now we can hit our refine hair. And notice it grabs the hair here. It's not bad. It's got the fur on the back, but the rest of it's still a little rough. Once again, we're not going to go in and use this refine edge and run it around the edge because we could do that. And this would definitely help. In fact, I'll just show you just a tiny, tiny little bit of what would happen if we did that. So if we started to use that on these edges, you know, we'd start to get better edges, but we're not going to do that. We want Photoshop to do the work. All right. So one of the things that you can do here, and I don't know 
about the radius. Sometimes people use just a tiny little bit of radius, but here's the thing, you can get super aggressive with that radius. And notice what happens if I turn that radius up. Now that actually helps us a lot with our selection. So there's a little tip for you there. When you're working on the hair and the fur, don't be afraid to be a little bit aggressive with that edge sometimes. Now this wouldn't work in a situation where we, you know, you have smooth skin and in hair because it would make the skin kind of soft and fuzzy as well. But if you have an object, you know, such as an animal that's fur all the way around, then you can get aggressive on that radius and it will work. And, and there we go. Let's go back to our first example now. And I'm going to see how good a job this does versus me doing this manually. All right, so let's start with our selection. We're going to use our select subject because it's definitely a good quick way to start and it does a really good job of selecting our subject. Now, if you wanted to refine your subject, just go in and choose your quick selection tool. So if you have a more difficult image to work on, you can do that there. And then to take it away, hit the Alt or the Option key and that will paint away from the area. So if you wanted to deselect an area such as a gap down there, that's how you would do it. Then we're going to choose Select a Mask. We're going to pop into the Select a Mask workspace. Now we're not going to choose Refine here this time. We're going to use this Refine brush. And we're just going to go around the edges of the hair manually. And we're just going to go down to Output, New Layer with the Layer Mask. Oops, some of the areas I want to get in here. Let's get some of these areas in here, though, in between the hairs. All right. And let's click OK. Let's throw the background behind it. All right, so let's compare the two. So here's the AI generated one. And here's the manual one. Personally, I think a lot of the AI one looks a lot better around some of these edges. However, in this little area in here, it didn't get selected. And if we look at it there, it did. Let's turn these both off. And now we're going to do a combo. So let's go in once again. We're going to choose Select Subject, Select and Mask. Now we're in Select and Mask, choose Refine Hair. And what we can do is take this tool and this little area that we were struggling with in here. Let's just paint in there. So we're just refining some of these areas where it didn't quite get it. And I see we're missing some here or there. Why don't we just paint over that? So basically what we're doing now is we're using the AI selection and now we're manually tweaking it. And this is going to give us the best possible result. Okay. So there we go. I think we're looking pretty good doing a team effort of using the AI with a little bit of manual work. Now, if you had colored fringes around the edges, what you would want to do is turn on decontaminate colors and that would do a nice job of getting rid of those color fringes. But now we're going to output this to a new layer with a layer mask. Click OK. And let's put it against our background and see how it looks. So here's our combo. Let's start with what we did. This is the AI on its own. It's not bad. We're losing a little bit on the sides. And in the middle here, we're not seeing any transparency. So that gray is still kind of there. Then we do the one where I did it fully manual. We've got little patches in here where maybe... We should have a little bit more hair. We're losing some hair in there. And then we go for the combo where we're using the AI and the manual work together. I think it's looking pretty good. And of course, someone's going to ask about, you know, why didn't you use it on a difficult background? Um, well, why would you shoot on a difficult background is my question. Um, if you know you're going to be cutting out your subject. If it's the only photo you've got, well, well let's have a look. Let's try something. Okay, well, let's have a look. And see how it works. So here we go, similar colored hair and similar colored background. Let's try it out. So with this tool selected, choose Select Subject, Select and Mask, 
refine here. All right, here, here's looking pretty good. Fur is struggling a little bit. Maybe we can do something with the radius. Definitely helping. Uh, you would probably want to use that tool there and just go around the edge of the dog with the refine brush because that's some pretty long hair on that dog. And, you know, not bad. Let's have a look at another example. Here we go. We've got backlighting. So we've got low contrast. We've got some highlights in the hair. Um, we've got it against a window. So this is definitely not as easy as it looks to cut this out. So let's choose. Select subject. Select a mask. Refine here. Not bad. Is it perfect? No, absolutely not. But it's definitely a good step. I mean, think about what we used to do. So just in a few clicks of the button, it's definitely going to get us a lot closer to the result. So I don't know about you, but um, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this uh, in the comments underneath. I know for me, anything to reduce the amount of time I spend cutting out hair and cutting out objects is a welcome addition. So by the way, guys, if you're new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. If you haven't yet subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. And by the way, if you like this, smash that thumbs up, that like button, into dust. And if you're watching on Photoshop Cafe, the thumbs up, the like button is on YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I've got another tutorial coming really soon. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.